Romans 8.28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. When it says that God works all things together for our good, I think it literally means all things. Everything that God does, everything that happens in the world and the universe, at all times, happens for our good. But I think Paul had a few specifics in mind here as well. First and most importantly, God saved us by the death of His Son. That was obviously good for us. Christ paid the full price for our sin so that we can go to be with God forever after this life. Second, God gives the Holy Spirit to dwell within us. That's pretty good for us too. Everywhere we go in life, we have God as our comforter, counselor, teacher, and friend with us. In addition to what God has done, all things refers to what God's doing in our lives today. When we experience pain, when we face persecution, when we suffer and groan, in all these things, God is working for the good of those who love Him. These things grow our character, perseverance, and faith in God. So we need to have a right understanding of what our good is. If we define our good as anything that makes us happy, even for just a moment or a season, then you might say that Satan is working for our good. Satan wants us to find pleasure in sin, and for us to sin as much as possible so that we turn away from God. But God defines our good differently. Our good is that which makes us more like Jesus. That's God's purpose for us. He wants us to find our joy in Him, becoming more like Him as we walk with Him. It's interesting that this verse starts with, and we know that. Do you know that God is working for your good? Do you trust God as your Heavenly Father, who isn't working against you, but for you? God loves you, and He wants you to trust in Him. So trust Him, because He's trustworthy and perfect, and He desires to work everything together for your good. God bless you and see you tomorrow.